welcome to my channel. I'm Literary Lizzie. Today I'm going to be doing my October wrap up as well as my Spookathon wrap up. Tomorrow's Halloween. Hopefully this video will go up today so I can plan my TBR for November. Okay, so I've read quite a few books this month and I am just really excited to share with you guys what I thought about them and give you a brief review and just some of my thoughts like what I thought about these books because some of them are really good and I'm just really excited to dive into this video so let's just go ahead and get started. The first book that I read this month was And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. This was a really excellent take on guilt and retribution. It had a lot of really excellent um, tension and suspense build up. This book was really simple but it was such a clever murder mystery. It was really elegantly deceptive because I was continuously guessing who the killer could be because each of the characters in this book are potential suspects and I was just really surprised when we find out who the killer actually is um, at the end of the book. So I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was Burnwood by R.K. Gold. This was a really dark and intense thriller. I really liked how the story was told because it was really captivating. Burnwood is a cryptic place with little tolerance for people who don't align their beliefs with this cult that controls the town. I also really liked the development of Burnwood's hostile environment. It just had like a lot of depth to it. I also liked the family elements and I liked how the characters felt like they were being brought to life. It just made them really believable and tangible. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Um, going into this I was like really expecting a lot because Lee Bardugo is just such an awesome writer and storyteller so I was expecting a lot from this trilogy and I kind of was left hanging there because I felt like the like my main problem with this book is like the main character she is just so unremarkable and so unoriginal I feel like I've seen her character a million times in YA but maybe that's just me but overall, this book was really entertaining, but I had to give it a 3.5 stars out of 5. Then I continued on with the Grisha Trilogy, and I read the second book, Siege and Storm, by Lee Bardugo. This book was much better than the first book. <laughs> However, the development and pacing of this book was, like, so slow. But I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read the third book to uh, the Grisha Trilogy, Ruin and Rising, by Lee Bardugo. I feel like this was like the best book out of all of them, but even though like I gave this book a 4 out of 5, the same as the second book, um, this book was like a little bit better than the second book, but not by much. Uh, but I still didn't really like the main character, Alina. It's just so um, weak and dull. And then also like the romance for all, th the romance in this whole trilogy was just so off. And it was just really awful. I gave it a 4 because it was just really entertaining. But it was just, it just felt, I don't know. Then I read The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. This book is filled with delightfully rich and enchanting short stories about the Grisha world. This book was just so darkly inventive and the writing was just very lyrical. I especially loved how on each page you had these gorgeous illustrations and artwork and it was just so beautiful. This book was just so effortless so I gave it a 5 out of 5. Then I read An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson. This book weaves a delightful story about the Fae and a gifted painter. I really liked the atmosphere, it was just so whimsical and I really enjoyed the imagery of the different seasons. I really liked how the author included her own twists on the familiar traditional fae. This book was just all around awesome and amazing and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. Then I read Hunting Prince Dracula by Carrie Maniscalco. This book was really great. Um, we delve into Romanian folklore and we have two main characters that we follow. They are exploring Dracula's castle and they are trying to find clues to solve, to help solve murder. Um, it's really cool because they're forensic students and I just really like their thought processes and how they deduce things. It was just really well explained. Oh, and the romance in this book was really genuine and it really worked well. The only thing that I didn't like was the ending. I just thought it was too abrupt and just came out of nowhere. But other than that, 
This book was really good. I gave it a 4.5 stars out of 5. Okay, so that was all for my regular reading. And then I participated in Spookathon. And so now I'm just going to tell you what I read for my Spookathon challenge. So the first book I read was Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. This was my first Stephen King novel and I was really surprised by it. I liked the crisp writing style. It just, it felt raw and pretty much straightforward. Except, like, the writing was straightforward, but the whole plot was just really convoluted. And I was just having a really tough time keeping track of the characters because there's literally a million characters in this book. And I just felt like it would have been better if you would have, you, um, if the kings would have reduced the number of characters. And I think it would have been lawless if the characters were reduced and because the story was really interesting um i like how this book incorporated sexism and gender divisions i loved the bizarre blend of ordinary reality and the supernatural it was really chilling and horrifying and grotesque and all that good stuff uh, it just really was an effective book in that respect. Um, but yeah, like I said, this book would have been way better without so many characters. Um, but yeah, this book was just really super long-winded and pretty messy, but uh, totally enjoyable. My first Stephen King book, and I really liked it. I gave it a 4 stars out of 5. Then I read The Witches of Glass Castle by Gabriella Lepore. I was really looking forward to reading this book because the cover is just so gorgeous. But I was really disappointed with this book. I really hate to criticize books, but I just found so many holes in this book that I feel like I should point out. I ended up giving this a 2.5 stars out of 5. Um, the thing that bothered me most about this book was the dialogue. It was just so stiff and off kilter and it just felt like really awkward. Um, the world building was underdeveloped and the romance was completely cheesy and I felt like this book had like a lot of potential to it and I feel like if the author spent a little bit more time fixing these holes then this book would have been really good. But I was entertained. It was a nice read, but I ended up giving it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. So then I read Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is my second time reading it. I read it in high school, but when I was reading it in high school, I felt like I was being forced. So I don't really, I didn't really remember it. I probably like skimmed over it in high school, but this time I read it from cover to cover and it was just phenomenal. I really loved this book. <laughs> it was really sad. I wanted it to be scary, but it was just really sad. <laughs> okay, so this was a great story filled with really gripping narratives. Um, the writing was beautiful and it flowed very smoothly. Um, I liked how it explored the innovations of science and how it could be dangerous and I liked how it criticized human perception of disfigurement. Um, it was just really philosophical and I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving this a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read was The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. Uh, this book was really compelling and I really um, liked the message and I really embrace it. But this book was about the oppress. This book was about the relationship between oppressors and those that are oppressed. Um, I liked how it warns us to change our habits in terms of exploiting other species and even other people that we perceive to be lesser. So that was an awesome message. I think. Oh, I gave this a three out of five stars because I wasn't really that into the story. Like, I wasn't really engaged, or I didn't really care for the characters, like, um, whether they died or not, but I really liked the message, so there you go. The last book that I read for Spookathon was House of Furies by Madeline Rue. I went into this book thinking that I was going to be scared, but no, I wasn't. But I really liked the paranormal and supernatural aspects of this book. 
I think it was executed really well and it was very entertaining. Hopefully there's a second book so I could pick that one up. But I ended up giving this a 3.7 out of 5 stars. That's it for this October slash Spookathon wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!